expert on that. I'm going to ask you another question that might be controversial based on a couple of previous um, doctors that I've had on. I had Dr. Roger Patrick on and I asked her, I said, hey, what are some of the, the healthy foods that are marketed as healthy that in your opinion aren't as healthy as they claim to be? Essentially was the question I asked. And she said, grapes have a lot of sugar in them that spike my blood pressure. I think she wears like a glucose monitor, so she's monitoring all of her food and constantly testing it. She said, when I was eating grapes, like my glucose levels went way up, skyrocketed, and I realized that that's not good for the body to have, you know, grapes, a lot of grapes. And you can transition it into having blueberries or something else that might be better for uh, the nutritional benefits. I put that online and people slammed me for that. And then uh, Dr. Gundry said that he doesn't think, uh, you know, modified apples the way they are now, how we modify them, how they're so big, how they're full of so much sugar. He's like, I don't think that's good to have these big apples that are modified because of the sugar and the fructose in these big apples, like a honey crisp or something. And he was saying we should be having a lot less fruit because of the fructose levels. What's your thoughts on fruit in general? Uh, should we be eating fruits every day? Is it something we, you know, I've been heard in the past that like we only used to have fruits right before the winter to kind of store up the fat and, and a seasonal thing. There's a lot of fruit eaters out there that believe in eating fruits, only fruit all day. I'm just trying to find the answers. I don't know the, the truth of the matter, but what's your thoughts based on research? So research, we don't research fruits, of course, but we do research the effects of sugar on the body. Uh, and it's not good. So try and, to keep... and is that all sugar or is that fruit sugar or refined sugar? What's, do we know that? Well, there's, there's glucose and fructose. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where you get it. These are just chemicals. That's the same chemical wherever you get it from. Glucose, you need glucose, right? We, we, again, we die without glucose. But the foods in, in our world are so full of sugars that we're constantly feeding ourselves uh, more sugar than we ever would have experienced even just 100 years ago or 50 even. Um, so where, where do I come down on this? Well, let me tell you from my own experience. It's probably better to give you my example yes. than preach to others. Yes. Um, I, I definitely like fruit and I eat fruit and I encourage it with my kids for sure. Uh, but there, it's, a, it's a balance. You want the most nutrition and vitamins uh, and, and the lower amount of sugar. And on a scale of, of that ratio, uh, I think Rhonda Patrick's right that grapes have more sugar than nutrition compared to other fruits. So the types of fruits that I like to have are ones that have lots of polyphenols, colored fruits such as blueberries, blackberries, those things. Um, you don't want to eat too many of them, of course, because then you, you're basically eating tons of sugar in it anyway. But yeah, blueberries I would have in, in a yogurt in the morning if I had, had some. Right. Um, the, the other fruit that I think is worth looking at is cantaloupe or rock melon. Um, that, I believe, has the most uh, nutrition versus sugar of any fruit. Um, so we, we try to eat those kind of uh, melons as well. You know, water, watermelon probably isn't in that category, but we still eat it in summer. The, the point in my family and in my life is uh, we're not so strict that, that we avoid every type of food, but most of the time I try to focus on, on plants. Um, I think that it's borne out just looking at people who live a long time and cultures that have a lot of elderly people over a hundred, the type of foods they eat typically have a lot more plant um, than just pure meat. I know I'm going to get hate meal as well from the carnivores, but it's important people know I'm, I'm not saying don't eat meat. I'm just saying the kind of balance, if you want to focus on types of foods uh, for longevity, that's what the data says. Gotcha. Do you know if um, the people in the, the blue zones who are living over a hundred, are they, are they eating? I'm hearing you say they eat more plant-based. Are they eating lots of meat or lots of fruit as well? Or are they limiting intake on some of those areas? Well, they seem to do all the right things. Uh, so it's it, don't eat a lot. Um, on the island of Okinawa, they tend to stop eating when they're only 70% full, which is a very good idea. Gosh, it's like I, I keep eating until I'm 70% 
over full. Yeah. You know? <laughs> then, then you can regret, then I regret it. But You're like, oh. yeah. yeah. But you also, you, you work out more than I, I train do. hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they tend to eat the right types of foods, which are packed with these polyphenols, these little chemicals that are found in plants when particularly when those plants are stressed out, they don't eat a lot of processed foods, which kills a lot of these vitamins and polyphenols as well. They eat colored foods, which, which as I mentioned is, is a good thing. They tend to have good social life. They tend to move a lot. They do gardening. They do walking as they get older. These are all things that just make a lot of sense anyway. Mm -hmm.